realized that I had not ever videoed our front rooms here. And now I'm starting to collect everything I need for Easter and things are starting to fill up around here. So I thought I'd better get my rear end out here and show you what I did uh, just to put everything back to the blue and white. I also just had an epiphany that has uh, to do with those blue and white bunnies right there for my mantle. Hmm, I had forgotten I'd gotten those and I had put them in there when they finally came after, after Easter last year. So, hmm, I might be utilizing those. But anyway, as we come around here, I'll show you a couple of things that I did. Nothing, any, I didn't buy anything new. I just repurposed everything and uh, placed it in different places, you know. I love this corner shelf that we bought. And that vase used to sit in the foyer. And uh, and then I just had the little bird cage. All this stuff I had already made up. And uh, just I just replaced it. I pretty much just put it back. That is a poem that my Uncle Don wrote for Chris. <laughs> I think I read that to you in a video one day. But anyway, as you can see here, uh, the dining room table was the same, only it just has a bunch of stuff sitting all over it. So sorry about that, oh my goodness. And I don't have my fairy lights plugged in yet in a battery. I need to get a battery out here and plug the fairy lights. I have fairy lights on around this. And it looks really pretty. But this is all of my Easter stuff that you guys have seen me haul in the last several days. Then I did put, uh, Bobby had gotten me this table runner, given me this beautiful table runner, and I had utilized it this year, and just put my family pictures back out, and this is a camera that looks right at the front door, <laughs> protecting us. There's my scooter. I might hop on that there in a minute um, and ride you around the rest of the way. Here is the table, or I mean, here is the chair and the pillow, and there's my big light ring. So things are not, see y'all always tell me your house always looks so neat and clean and this and that. Well, <laughs> usually it does, but I'm starting to be in a transition time here and uh, I've been sick. I've been really, really sick this past week. It's been a week now and I'm feeling better, but I'll tell you, it's still kicking my tail. Um, but anyway, I'm sitting on my scooter here. So well, let's look at the foyer. I just replaced the uh, wreath with the one I made. And, and then I just, you know, augmented that wreath a little bit with cotton and with uh, blueberries and lamb's ear. That's all that is hanging on there. And then, you know, just a little vase of flowers and then a little fairy sitting in one of Bellady Designs, little lanterns. And then on this side, just another little arrangement. I didn't do any of this. I had all of this sitting out in the garage on those shelves, just like this. Forgot to show you my grandmother's pretty in pink hutch. Mm -hmm. I really didn't do anything too, too special with that. I did take that copper tray that I got right before Christmas, I believe, and I put it, or right before Thanksgiving, and I did put it up there. So I thought that looked pretty, but I really didn't do anything else special in there. You know, it still has the same stuff in it. So, and then coming in here to the living room, this is my grandmother's secretary, and I just replaced the bow and the garland the way I had it up there before, and didn't do anything to the inside and just replaced all of this, you know, in the way I had it before, added a little bunny. Not for Easter or anything, just because I think it's a cute bunny. <laughs> But uh, didn't do anything special, really and truly, you know, as we go along here. So, same stuff. Again, same stuff. And then here we are at the half moon table. Kind of the secretary is behind me now. And uh, this is a very old table that we've had in the house for a long, long time. And Chris painted it that dark brown. That's not black. That's a very dark, 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 dark brown. And I put the same stuff on it, a picture of us. And uh, 
blue and white lamps and the little Velody design makes that lantern too. So you could check if you want to call, I guess you call that a lantern. She made that too. And uh, I love it. And Bella D Design, she made that. And I just left the birds in there. And uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot out here. What I'll be doing out here mostly is adding in. And pretty much what I'll be doing throughout the house is pretty much just pretty much just adding in uh, bunnies and eggs. You know, for you can see we have a couple of pillows that I'll put in the two, those two chairs over there. And uh, we literally just carried this upstairs. It was just downstairs like this, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, nothing totally special in here, you guys, really and truly. I just remade this, simply just put the two candle holders on there. And then with the other little dish. And uh, that's about it. And then redid that two-tier tray very quickly. Nothing too, too special on there. And just redid it. And the blue and white and gold. And I did put two uh, spheres that I had purchased, I think, in the fall on top of those gold candlesticks that I don't think I ever hauled. I did get those from Amazon. And... Uh, and just added a bird and my mom's bridal Bible. And uh, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Little owls. And then this little lamp. And then again, another candlestick and a sphere and a willow tree, the lady. So I got that table from Kirkland's many years ago. I got the chairs from Wayfair last year. And uh, the two-tier tray is from Bella D Designs. So, and then I made the wreath. That is a wreath that we put on an embroidery hoop. And uh, then we stained the embroidery hoop brown. I don't know if you can tell it. Yeah, you can kind of brown. And I just used lamb's ear and blueberries, kind of the same concept as that wreath over there, and then used some of that beautiful D. Stevens ribbon. And then put the four bird pictures on the windows. And that's, yeah, that about covers everything I did. It is so pretty. I'm telling you, I probably decorated this whole place in a day before we left for our trip, you guys. Uh, and so it is, it was literally thrown together. <laughs> but uh, I love these rooms. This room, especially that we're sitting in, is one of my very favorite rooms in the whole house. So, well, there we go. That's a little tour of how we redecorated the uh, this front of the house for the blue and white right before we left for our trip. And um, it's soft and subtle and kind of cluttered right now with the Easter stuff. So hang in here with me and we're going to start on our Easter decor for sure. For Okie dokie, everybody. Here I am morphing in here with this mantle and hearth reveal for it's more easter but spring and easter uh probably after easter i'll remove the bunnies you know and and go back to just the blue and white and um for a little while and then we'll i may make some changes i don't know we'll see but for now this will be the way it is until easter so of course i left the wreath and i made that wreath it's been, you know, a couple years now that I made this this wreath, and it is a, a burlap wreath, and I've got two layers of burlap on it. I've got a darker burlap, as you can kind of see on the bottom there, right in here. That's, a, that's like your khaki color burlap, and then I did put another layer of cream burlap on it, and then I just used greenery and some blue and cream roses, and a blue uh, funky bow with some white wispy pieces. And that, the th it is probably 33 inches around, uh, side to side, top to bottom, and so on. It is very large, very, very large wreath. Um, but there are the bunnies that Chris made. He did a fabulous job on those bunnies last year. He made those. Uh, 
he kept sketching them out. I remember he sketched them out and I, he said, uh, is this big enough? He said, no, is this big enough? No, I think it took him three tries, bless his heart. And he finally got it big enough for my, for my taste. So, but they turned out really, really, really cute. This mantle has given me a terrible time in the last few days. I really had purchased those gold eggs to incorporate in this mantle. And you guys, no matter which way I tried, I could not get it to work out. I mean, I could not get it to look right. It just was pulling my eye. I was not happy with it at all. Then when I walked out the other day and saw uh, those these blue and white bunnies I'd gotten last year from QVC, I said, well, my goodness, I'm going to use those instead of gold because that will nicely separate the gold lamps and we'll pull in the blue and then the gold of the of the egg garland and the blue of the plates, the gold of the candlesticks and so on and so forth. So I think when all is said and done, it's beautiful. Now we are gonna go over here to the table after I'm done talking about this and I am gonna make two two loop, two tail bows. And I, you know, I'm thinking about putting one right here and one over here. May, uh, one on the other side. Sorry, I can't find my finger. <laughs> this is not easy to do. Here we go. One right there and one over here. I do not know whether I will leave them there or not. I will take a couple pictures if I decide that I like them. Uh, I may like it better without them, though, to be honest. But there we go with the mantle and the mirror above it with the bunnies. I'm very happy with it. These candlesticks, as you know, the white candlesticks there are from Kirkland's. And we got those clear Easter eggs from, I got them from Home Goods last year. And they happen to have a hole in the bottom the size of the, the little, I have a taper candle. I don't know whether you can tell in there, a little taper candle in there. And the candlestick itself had a hole for a taper candle. So Chris is the one that came up with the idea because uh, I was like, why don't we put bunnies on there? Why don't we put something up there? He goes, no, why don't we put those two eggs you bought up there? And I was like, oh, that was genius. So that was his idea. Uh, and, you know, there are elements of Easter for sure with the bunnies and the eggs, but it is not screaming, you know, Easter. But it is subtle and classic, I think, and pretty. And I love the addition of all of the of the gold. I really love it. I think it's so pretty. And I love that garland, that gold garland with the cre with the colored lights. I will try to insert a picture with the at nighttime with the colored lights. It's so pretty. All right, so on we come down here to the hearth, and uh, there is the bunny family. We've got I can't remember their names. We had named them Hermione and Herbert, or I can't remember their names. <laughs> Uh, but as you can see, I, I put a, a set of fairy lights just around the ginger jar and up on this ladder. Uh, but I did not put any on this side because I'd really have to cut a set down very, very, very far. And I decided not to do that. So I just left the white lights on that side and put the colored lights on this side. And it looks really pretty uh, at night. Very, very pretty. I left the candlesticks there with a little bit of greenery. And uh, let's go closer because so you can get a good look at these bunnies. These bunnies are fabulous and they still are, are available. I believe it's $179 for the set of four of them, you guys, uh, which I spent uh, on them because I just, I just think they're, talk about making a statement. I think they are so cute. These two, and then if we move over here, here's mama and the little daughter. You know, I, I just think they're fabulous and they make this section of, of my decor. So everything else is pretty much the same. I moved the bird, I had the bird candlestick or the, you know, the candlestick with the bird on top of it there with the pit berries. I hid it, had it where this little fellow was sitting. So I just moved it over onto the floor very simply and really didn't do anything. If I do change the, the bows out on the, or if I do, Put, end up putting bows on the mantle. I'll make a very small one and put one there too, just so the bow, you know, um, bows match in design. So 
But anyway, I just incorporated all the little uh, stars everywhere. I kept everything else, just added the two gold bunnies sitting down there kind of flanking that little candle holder. And uh, I was going to put these two bunnies up on top of the hearth, but I couldn't get them to fit. Plus they didn't feel right to me. They were too uh, kind of rustic, if you will, even though this is kind of a rustic glam look. I really like the, the white and blue ones better than I did those fellas. So they will either sit there or they'll hop somewhere else in the house, who knows? <laughs> Who knows where they'll end up. But anyway, that is how the mirror, shelves, mantle, and hearth look. And that will set the tone for the rest of the house's decor, you know? There's the big old TV. Next up, I don't know whether I will do this, you know, little tray design on Friday, the cozy corner on Friday. I'm not sure whether I'll go out to the kitchen and do that tray design. I don't know. It will be something probably where um, I will be sitting and doing. I, I'm i been sick, you guys. I am not even kidding you guys. I have been, I, I'm exhausted. I cannot sleep at night. So therefore I, I like to take naps during the day. <laughs> This little sickness has kicked my rear. And no, it's not COVID. I've tested and tested. It's not COVID. It's just a, a sickness, you know, just a cold, really bad cold or flu, maybe. So, although I really haven't had a fever. Anyway, regardless, I'm rambling about my sickness. I'm sorry. So, let's uh, go on over to the table and we're going to make those bows. And we're going to, oh, I want to reveal one more thing to you before we go and sit down. So, I'm going to walk on over to my kitchen here. And I'm going to show you something really pretty that Chris installed for me yesterday evening. I've been waiting to come in, and I've been waiting for these for years. I've been wanting these certain things for years and years, pretty much since about the second year we moved in here. I never wanted to spend the money for them and ended up doing so. So let's head out to the kitchen first, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, okay here we are in the kitchen, and it's really bright outside today, so let me... See if I can turn that down behind you. And can you see the pendant lights? And I'll turn them on here in a second. But that's what Chris just installed for me last night. That's just what we got. Alexa, turn on the pendant lights. Okay. And Chris has ordered a dimmer switch for them too. And I think they are fabulous. They are called drum lights, I believe. I'll type down here exactly what they're called. And I believe we got them from Build, no, I got them from Home Depot. Got them from Home Depot. I looked on build.com, couldn't find anything I liked. Uh, but I, these are different than any I have seen. Uh, I, they are bronze. Get up closer to one for you. They are bronze. I can barely reach them, sorry in color, which is the color of our sink uh, faucet, and it's the color of all of our hardware, hardware on our doors, and it's the color of the hardware on our cabinets. It's, they're all bronze. Let me go over here and show you up closer. All of the cabinet pools are, are bronze. And uh, I love them, you guys. I absolutely love them. I think they are so pretty, and you should have seen Chris. He had two two-by-fours sitting along the island, and he had a ladder sitting on the floor, and he had a ladder <laughs> up on the island so that he could reach all the way up there. And the reason for the two-by-fours was to um, spread out the weight of the, of the ladder. So anyway, he's something else. But I love them, and I've, they've been something I've been waiting for for a long, long time. And boy, do they make this kitchen look pretty, huh? I mean, the kitchen is the hub of our home for sure. So I love them. All righty, you guys. I'm going to come back here to the table. And there's the ribbon we're going to work with in just a minute. I'm going to put my camera on here. 
and I'll be right back in just a second. Okie okay, dokie, you guys. Here I am sitting in front of the camera. So let me say hi, everyone. Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And as you've seen already, I was up to giving you a little tour of the front rooms, messy as they are, cluttered as they are. I was determined to get that in the can for you guys today. And then I did reveal the uh, fireplace and hearth for my Easter slash spring decor. So I'm very happy with how that worked out. And as I said, we are going to make two bows out of this beautiful ribbon here. And then I'll see if I'm going to like them hung up there. We'll see. So um, I hope you all are doing great today on this Wednesday. I hope you've had a great a uh, couple of days since I've seen you, uh, I, as I explained, have been still struggling with this cold, although I'm better and better and better each day, but I just can't get enough sleep. I can't sleep at night. I'm up, I'm tossing and turning, you know, and that kind of thing, which is typical of a, of a cold, you know, and uh, so I just wanted to nap all the time. So anyway, I, I've had a nap. I had a nap in the car going for lunch, and I had a nap in the car coming home. So I'm pretty much napped out, I think. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I do have my computer here, so I will look through there and see if we have any questions. And then, of course, I revealed, you know, the, those pretty pendant lights. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? They just really make a big, fat statement in there. I love them. I love them. You know, so... What a difference three little lights can make in a room. So, all right. So, let me see. Is there anything else I need to talk with you guys about? I don't really think so. I really don't think so. We're we're kind of in a law here. We are just beginning our Easter, my Easter series. And uh, Easter is, I think, the 17th of April. So, we have a month or so, you know, to do the Easter decor. And I'll do a home tour you know, with my Easter spring decor too. So, you know, and then I will, will probably even do the outside spaces a smidge. You know, I have not been decorating as much as I have been, but I will put another wreath out there. One that I already have made probably and switch out my cushions and uh, maybe pull out an old um, funky bow topper for my, for my lantern out there, at least set the lantern out there. And we'll do the mailbox like we prepared the other day with that funky bow and that kind of thing. So we not only have the indoor spaces to do, but we have just a little bit of the outdoor spaces to do as well. So, all right. So let's, uh, and then I will be having a big announcement, but not that coming up soon, but I can't say when. And it's, it's soon-ish. Let me put it that way. It's soon-ish. And that's about Country Sampler. A lot of you are worried that you're going to miss it. Don't worry, you guys. I will tell you. I will tell you when it is on the stands. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. I will come on the day it goes on the stand and I will tell you, I promise. <laughs> In the meantime, though, I was featured, uh, my little shelf over here, my IV table shelf was featured in just a minute and 46, I think, second video uh, from Country Sampler. And I don't think I can really share that. I, I really shouldn't do that. But if you would like to see that, you can go to the Country Sampler YouTube uh, channel and check out that video. I think I can leave a, leave a link for it. I will do that. And you can see what they say about my little shelf there. <laughs> so that was featured in the little video that they put up yesterday. So thank you to, oh, I can't remember who told me. Thank you in my Facebook group who brought that to my attention. So, all right. So let me turn my camera here and we're going to get started making these bows and it's not going to take us very long at all. Uh, but I do want to show you how to do them just in case you haven't seen how to do these specific bows. All right. All right. So let me turn my camera. I'll be right back in just a second when I get situated. And here is the number for this ribbon if you are interested. This is from Bobby at PerpetualRibbons.com. By the way, I do need to talk with you about Bobby after I'm done this. I will come back and talk to you about her in a minute. She needs a special prayer request. Uh, so we will talk about that in just a minute. And I'm morphing in here with a little bit of footage about Bobby uh, and about her sister. And I would like to request a prayer for her sister from you guys, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, her sister took a bad fall last week and, and really, really hit her head hard and is now in the hospital. 
and uh, not conscious. I don't know whether they have her in like an induced coma to keep her settled and down or whether she is in a, a coma, but she is in not great shape at all. So if you guys could please pray for recovery for Bobby's sister, I would sure appreciate it. And I know Bobby would. We all love Bobby so much there with perpetualribbons.com. And we want nothing but the best for her and her sister. So please, please, please say, say a prayer for Bobby's sister. Thank y'all. Okay, back to my regularly scheduled program here. Absolutely love it. And I want to try to incorporate it into the mantle here. But there's the number. So all I'm going to do are two loop, two tailed bows. I find that funky bows, when using four inch ribbon like this, they just don't look as good as they do if you use two and a half inches. So I'm going to pull out a little bit here and we'll go from there. And we make these, oh my goodness, this is crazy ribbon. Uh, we start these much like we start our tiered bow. We just want to pull the end of the ribbon toward ourselves and uh, kind of eyeball how big you want the bows to the bow to be. And I'm going to say, oh, about that big. And then I come down here and I pull from the from what is still attached to the to the bolt there to the roll and overlap it a little bit. See how much I overlap that? And then kind of eyeball the center where you think the center is. And then I kind of accordion it together like that. And that looks to be about right. And then I'm going to take this big piece here in the middle and I'm going to twist it. I'm actually making this kind of upside down for you guys because I have the camera on the opposite side of me here. I should have put the camera on the other side. Sorry. <laughs> I'll switch it for the next one. Um, but you twist it and you turn it around two fingers. See that? I've turned it around two fingers. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and switch sides. Hang on. There we go. That's better. So there you can see we have two loops and the center loop made. So now what I want to do when you have this much coming down is just twist this around one more time to bring the front side up. And then I want to, I don't know how long my tails, I want my tails to be, so I want to give myself a little bit of extra because I might want one tail longer than the other or whatever. So, and I'm just going to grab it on the back and twist it around so that the front so when it drapes down, it's going to drape down with the two front sides draping. See that? And then I'm going to accordion it in there in the back. Okay? Just like that. So you catch it all. So there we go with two loops and two tails, or what will be two tails. And you take your pipe cleaner, put it through the center loop, to about midway through, and then you pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. Make sure it's kind of even. Use this hand as resistance, twist around, get these fingers up as close as you can and twist. Twist, 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 twist. See that, sorry. Okay, now I know that I only want the two tails. I know I do not want this big tail, this extra third tail. So I'm going to cut this off kind of close-ish in the back. Not so close it's gonna come unraveled though. Okay, so then I wanna come down here and I wanna cut this in half. And that gives us a two loop. Two tailed bow. Isn't that pretty? And I will go and hang it up over there and then do something with the with the 
tails if I decide I want to leave them up. And I will either do a dovetail bottom or I will cut this one longer and that one shorter and then one on the other side longer and shorter coming up the other way. All right. So let's try to make another one to match that. Let's see how well I can match. <laughs> Sometimes I do better than others. And then come down here and overlap. Remember to overlap and kind of accordion it together like that and to make your center loop and twist it around two fingers. See that? And grab it from underneath and then as you're grabbing this, this is what I didn't say on the other one, pull it from the, the loop portion and not from the tail portion, this portion, because you want the top and the bottom of the loop to be of similar size like that, okay? So now I've caught that in there and I wanna to twist to bring the front side up and put your hand on the back Twist it and bring it up like that. And then pinch it in the back. Okay? And that way I have two. I could have three tails, but I'm going to cut this one off. And get my other. Pretty good. Okay, my other pipe cleaner and put it through the center, through the loop, center loop. Pull it about halfway through. Put your thumb, get it under your thumb, pull it around the bottom, bottom around the bottom, top around the top, and again, this hand is resistance and pull, twist it around and then get these fingers up as far as you can to the back of the bow and twist, 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 twist. Okay, and then we're gonna come back here and we're going to trim this up. Okay, cut this in half. There we have another two loop, two tailed bow. And I think they look pretty similar, huh? Pretty good. All right. So that's how you do a two loop, two tailed bow. And that's what I usually make out of my four inch ribbon. Now, I'm, I didn't, I don't have another pipe cleaner but I need to make a little one, a littler bow. Let me run and get a pipe cleaner, hang on. Let's, same concept, only much littler. And littler sometimes makes it more difficult because this is a lot of ribbon here. <laughs> we'll see if I can manage it and muscle it in. And I don't want long tails. Three tails. I don't know on this one. Let me do that. And then I can like cut them in a tier, you know, going up. This is going to work out okay. This is not easy ribbon to work with, but it is worth it because it is super pretty. I think she said this, this is, this is Ferris silk ribbon and it is lovely to work with. This is the same kind of ribbon I've used for my, my, that gold and white for the, right here on my dough bowl. Same kind of ribbon, lovely ribbon. Okay, cut it off the bolt down here this time. 
end in half here. And let me see if I could even get this to, I mean, that's pretty. I know on the lantern it'll hang kind of like that. Mm. I think I'm just going to cut that last one off. I don't like that. Having three. Okay, and I will cut the tails, you know, how I want them, whether I want them. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and dovetail these. Well, I might not. I want to get it on there before I do it. All right. So there we go. There are three bows to go along with the mantle and hearth design. And of course, I'll take pictures at the end there and show you if I decided to put them on there and how it looks. All right. Let me turn you and get my computer out here. This has been one of those hodgepodge kind of videos, hasn't it? <laughs> show you a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Keeps you guessing. Not sure what's coming next. I'll keep you guessing. Not sure what's coming next, huh? Let me see here. All right, I do wanna check my computer and see if I have any questions. And to be honest with you guys, uh, please forgive me, but I have not, I've been trying to get in and, and heart you guys and answer whatever questions you might have within the comments, but some days I do better than others, I will be honest, so. Okie dokie, looks like I just have a couple of questions. So that's good. One is from Grandma Whoa, W-H-O-A, Grandma Whoa. Uh, she said, I like your layering with turtlenecks. They are flattering on you. Thank you so much for saying that, thank you so much. Do you have a favorite brand of turtleneck tops for layering? The blue one is perfect with your eyes and coloring. <laughs> Thank you so much. All of you who said when I wear that blue, uh, this color blue, when I wear this color blue cobalt, you know, right up against my face, I guess it makes my eyes look bluer because you guys always say your eyes look so blue. Your eyes are pretty. And, you know, I have, have I ever told you the story about uh, my blue eyes? Now, I'm not saying my eyes are pretty. I'm not saying that they're whatever blue, whatever. My eyes are God given. You know, a lot of people don't believe they're my color. Well, you guys who've been with me for how many years now? No, they don't change. They're the same color all the time. And no, I don't have color contacts. I don't wear contacts. I only wear glasses to read. And um, But my mom oh, tells the story. My mom had beautiful brown eyes and my dad has blue eyes, as you guys know. And she prayed and prayed and prayed. She said the whole pregnancy, she said, Arlen, I prayed for, for me to have a brown haired, blue eyed baby girl. She said, I really wanted my baby girl to have blue eyes. She said, I love your daddy's eyes so much and I wanted you to have his eyes. And she, her, her prayer was answered. So there you go. Uh, I do not have a favorite brand necessarily, Grandma. I, I, uh, have them linked in my fashion, uh, Amazon storefront gift idea box. They're right in the description. You, in the description box of all of my videos, you can find a, a link for my Amazon shop. And you're welcome to go in there and look. I would, the only thing I would encourage you guys is to size up, even two sizes if you can. These, some of these turtlenecks come and they think they're, they need to be like a, you know, like a, what, like a wetsuit or something. They have to be so tight. I really am having troubles finding some that are not too tight in the neck, you know, that, that feel like you want to be choked on the neck. And, uh, but I like, I don't like a mock turtleneck. I don't like a turtleneck that sits on me kind of like that because of, look at my chin. You know, I've got the, what we call my maiden name's chin. All of us have it, all of us girls. And we don't like it, you know, so I don't, it's not that I'm hiding anything. It's just that if I'm going to wear a turtleneck, I'm not going to wear it halfway down my neck like that. I want a turtleneck that's on up, you know, and, and be a turtleneck. So they are linked in my Amazon shop. But as I say, watch your sizing, size up with those. Because they, they're kind of some, they're very, not very expensive at all. And they come in an array of colors. And, uh, but the sizing is, is weird on them. I'm just going to say it straight out. So if you want to try one, feel free, you know, absolutely. But do size up, do size up. So, 
All right. And then my last question is from Sherry Midlam. Have you been in the Country Sampler Magazine? What month? <laughs> and as I just referred to a little bit ago, it's coming. I promise you it's coming. I have not been in yet, but I will be soon. So I can't tell you. Country Sampler has said and has asked me to be respectful and for not to say until it's on the shelf. So I cannot say I am under contract with them, you guys. I cannot say. So it's coming though. I promise you it is still coming. <laughs> Soon, but I can't say when, but soon. All right, I promise. <laughs> I love you guys for asking. You guys are so sweet. Uh, and I think that's it. That's all my questions. So I must be doing a pretty good job of answering your questions. If you have any more, always, if you have any more questions, you're always free to ask me in the comments. And I usually try to come on here and answer a couple in each video. I used to do just Q and A's and now I, I don't like people to have to wait for too long. Uh, so feel free to, to ask them and I will answer as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And while I'm sitting here asking, <laughs> can I humbly ask you to consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel here? I'm trying to get to 34,000 now. I just thank goodness. Thank you for Scott and his mama, Ellen, and all of you guys who subscribed the other day took me up and over 33,000. I thank you so much. We've been working for that goal for quite a while. And uh, now I'd like to get 34,000, please, 35,000, 40,000. I'd love to see 40,000. But uh, I'd appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and then click all so you're notified about wherever I put something up on YouTube, whether it's in my community post or in a video. So uh, then share with your friends and your family and hit like, please. I would sure appreciate it and would humbly invite you in and, um, you know, as we go through this house by the season and decorate and we do all kinds of stuff here. We do all kinds of stuff. We do some crafting. We do some wreath making. We do some centerpiece designs. We do tray designs. So we do, you know, all kinds of stuff that go into my decor. And uh, anyway, we're starting on Easter now. We're going to start on Easter and spring. All right. So I guess you guys, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Little Mav, bless his heart. He's homesick. I'm hoping I didn't get him sick. I wasn't sick when I was with him, but uh, Candace says, no, 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 it's daycare. It's a daycare sickness. And I said, I don't know. I was with him just a few days before I got sick. So poor little Tyke, he's, he's struggling. So he's home today with his mama and she is thankfully able to work from home. So uh, say a little prayer for our little Mav, you know, that he gets, that he gets better quick. And uh, with that said, I'm going to go into my final words and say, for those of you, since I have so many new, let me explain about my final words real quick. A lot of you, a lot of you lately have been mentioning my final words and how much you appreciate me saying them. And and honestly, I I feel convicted to say them, you guys. I feel like they were a gift from the Lord that if I didn't say them, I would be remiss because I feel like the Lord wants me to say them at the end of every video. And the only ones that I really might not say it is in a, in a cruising video when I'm doing, you know, like a, a, an excursion, even my, even my tour video, I did do uh, my final words in that one, even with that one. So, uh, but one day I was sitting, uh, trying to close out the video, much like I am now kind of like rumbling and bumbling about trying to figure out how to close the video out. And all of a sudden I felt like, there was a chalkboard in front of me and these words were being scripted on onto the uh, chalkboard. And I feel like I can almost read them verbatim every time. There's sometimes I mix up a word or two, but pretty much they're the same. And they go like this. Thank you all so much for stopping in here today. I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care.
Bye-bye.